What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how to draw a loose structure for XEO3, which is also called Xenon Trixi. First of all, we need to find out the total number of valence electrons, which will be 8 plus 3 times 6 which will be 8 plus 18 that's going to be 26 electrons that's total number of available electrons which after that we can put the central element which is x in this case because we have only one and we have oxygen around it then basically we need to place one pair of electrons between each adjacent pair of atoms, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and every two of these dots represents a bonding electron pair that forms a single covalent bond. Then what we need to do, we need to place a pair of the remaining valence electrons as lone pairs on the surrounding atoms, not on the central atom, on the surrounding atoms. So that's going to be basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the sixth one is here. One, two, three, four, five, and the six in here. One, two, three, four, five, and six in here. Now let's see how many available valence electrons we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's going to be 21. 3 times 7, 21. So 26 minus 21. 5 more electrons is remain. And as you see here, we have 5 more electrons. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if you look at the oxygen, you don't have the octet rule because you have 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it means that one of these one of these electrons has to bond with xenon. Same thing in here and same thing in here. So it means that we are going to have a double bond between xenon and oxygen. So we have double bond oxygen, double bond oxygen, and double bond oxygen. We have two, four, two, four, two, four, and we have two more electrons still available under xenon. So as you see here, oxygen follow octet rule, xenon because it it has it doesn't follow octet rule it is overfilled because of the structure and has 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 14 electrons so it's much more than 8 so it doesn't follow octet rule so basically that's the loose structure for xenon trioxide. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question. Thank you for watching and have a great day.